Hey folks, welcome to Tackle Tactics TV. We are in Victoria, fishing with Tackle Tactics Pro Angler Angus James. We've been working hard for a fish. Came out yesterday afternoon, she was pretty blowy. Uh, so we got off the water and came back this morning. Still breezes up, but we've got a bit of nice sun on the water. Just throwing around a few slim swims, a few spinner baits. That's not a bad start. Beautiful looking fish. Redfin, mate. What's good about them? Oh, they look fantastic. Great eating fish. And they fight pretty hard. Yeah, that fellow slugged it out right to the end, eh? Yeah, he went hard. <laughs> Solid fish too, eh? Yeah, they are. And for, for southern anglers, extremely popular species. Yeah, one of the favourites among the anglers down here. Um, yeah, one of the best eating fish I reckon you can probably eat. So. Yep. So popular as a sports fish and also as a... Great on the table. Uh, great on the table as well, eh? We might... Uh, so you can see that little jig spinner there, adding a little bit of flash and vibration to that soft plastic presentation. And I just changed it up to that pink glow. Slim Swims, I've seen a couple of photos of yours with that pink glow in it. So <laughs> I thought I can't go wrong and have a crack, eh? That's beautiful. We'll get that one off the hook. Oh yeah, buckle up. That was a good take too. <laughs> they hit it pretty hard, that's for sure. Whoa, stretch the arms. Good fun on that little Akuma LRF. <laughs> yeah, perfect rod for this sort of situation. Oh, that's a that, good that fish, nice mate. Fish. That is a nice that is fish. The sort of fish we want. Oh, he's still got a bit of go. Yeah, they're beautiful looking fish. That is an awesome fish. Oh, what a tank, eh? Yeah. They are heavy fish. Yeah, stoked with that. So that's that's light light line fishing, good fun light, light sports fishing, hey? It doesn't get much better for this sort of water with these sort of fish. It's just Oh yeah, that's know. a tank. No, They're no, such a hard. solid fish, hey. So that's one to three kilo LRF, so light rods. Uh, light braid. Light braid using five pound braid here. And uh, got an eight pound leader on, but that that tip is just awesome. You feel every sort of bite and yeah, just and that's a that's a jig spinner again with a bit of flash. Just clip yep. clip that jig spinner onto your jig head, add some flash and vibration to your soft plastic that's presentation. It. And it also works through the weed quite weedless with that too. So ah, uh, yep, yep, quite a good option. Yep, keeps that weed off. And we are fishing some some reedy cover, but you're working your plastics above the weed. Hey, there's yep. weed, like up weed growing up from the bottom. Yeah, that's right. And the fish will be just sitting down in that weed, and they just come out and have a crack, and that's the result. He's had a crack, found the hook, and a nice ready. Good fish, Angus. Nice little ready. Taking that Z-Man Slim Swims. These are fun size guys. I'd take these guys any day of the week. Fun size and probably the best eating size, these ones, Justin. Oh, yep, yep. So for people that are chasing a feed, that's a pretty good size if they want to eat yep. them, hey? Inland whiting, the locals call these. And that is the perfect eating size redfin. He's angry too. He was fired up. He took that, took that nicely. It was just a tap, tap across the weed, and then he, then he found the mark on that, on that hook. And that was on the Seros travel rod. So that's a, that's. I've loved using this on our Southern series filming. Three piece, two to four kilo feels like a one piece rod. So it's you don't have to compromise when you travel, and and a good affordable rod for everyone that wants to get out there and have a crack. And that's a nice ready. We'll swim him. I know, I've got a feeling there's a bigger one out there, you know. Let's, we'll just keep plugging away, working that weed, rolling those slim swims across the top of the weed and see how we go. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, buckle up. That is epic. <laughs> oh, mate, I saw him come out of the weed. That was ridiculous. That was really cool. Oh, that I've is insane. Oh, like that, right next to the boat. I'll let you handle him because I've got gloves on, so I don't want to ruin him. But that's, um, that's epic. That is so cool. And that's 
That's good because you don't really see too many trout hit a jig spinner like that. So that was that ridiculous. Spinner, that smaller jig spinner is the right profile. Oh, that was awesome. That was a dirty pocket there. There was a little bit deeper water. We're fishing over the top of weed. So the idea is we're buzzing these jig spinners across the top of the weed and the fish are coming out from the weed and nailing it. That rainbow, he has just come out of a dark pocket of deeper water and just smashed that right beside the boat. I wasn't going to give him any time to jump off. He was just getting in the boat. <laughs> no time for the net. That's awesome, mate. So, yeah, so in this area, we're fishing an impoundment, a stocked impoundment. You've got brown trout, rainbow trout, red fin, and a few other bits and pieces. Yeah, that's it, Justin. There's some beautiful fish in here, and they're very healthy. There's plenty of food going around for them, and they're happy to take these lures. And that's the jig spinner on a two and a half inch Slim Sims again. Because we're fishing on top of the weed, we're fishing light jig heads, hey? That's it, and they're just coming up from the bottom and just having a crack. So one twelfth, one eighth ounce type jig heads with a jig spinner on, and you can you can still allow it to fall, or you can keep it nice and high in the water column while still retrieving it slowly. He's and he's gone, beautiful. That's all right. That's where we want him back in the water, mate. Stoked. Good work. Come here, ball. That is a nice looking fish. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, that he's is a big. tank. He's big. That is a tank. He's got a <laughs> This is an oh, awesome for this sort of fish. Such good fun, hey. One, so one to three kilo, two to four kilo rods, sort of six pound braid, eight pound liters, and um, 20 size or 30 size reels. Perfect for this, it's so much fun. When you hit the, hit the big ones like this, <laughs> it starts pumping. Oh man. And you feel everything, and these fish are just so healthy. Oh. This could even be that 50, you know? This, this is a tank. Man, oh, that is an awesome oh fish. <laughs> look at the, oh, look at the weight in him, hey. On a slim swim, it's the perfect presentation for this sort of water. That is a cracker. Oh, that is a beast. <laughs> now, in terms of redfin fish, oh, mate, in terms of redfin fishing, I that is not even a redfin. That, oh, look at the girth on that. This is a, this is a beauty. That we'll is. Have to get the brag out. That is, is an incredible fish. Now I've I've seen a few redfin. You've seen plenty of redfin, but that is a redfin. That is a <laughs> redfin. Forty-seven centimeters of redfin perch. You know, no matter where you are in the world, if you target redfin, that is a trophy fish. That is an absolute horse of a fish. Healthy looking, just look how solid he is. It's so thick, you know. Where, no matter where you are in the country, whether you chase sooties or whether you chase bass or whatever you chase, that is right up there with them, that fish. That, and, and it's also such a beautiful fish to, to go with it, you know, the, the bars on it, like that is a, that's a cracker fish. The bars, the markings, the, this fiery red fins on it and that sort of thing, that is You, you really can't awesome. get a better looking freshwater fish, I reckon. I, like they're introduced in Australia, but geez, they thrive over here. Yeah, yeah. You were, you were saying you, you saw a story, something like there was 10 came over on in a one ship. Of the first fleets, they brought 10 over. I think seven survived from that 10, and from that seven, they've, uh, they've done they've quite well in the land down under. And one of the, one of the uh, not only a great sport fish, one of, the, one of the best eating fish you can get in the fresh water as well. Yep. And retrieve wise, then just. Yeah, just slow rolling, just letting yep. that flash of the jig spinner do its work and a yep. little swim, swim. I notice you you slow roll and you, and you sort of pulse yeah, it every I'll, now and I'll then give it as a well. Bit of a hop because there is a the, the lot of weed in here, so I like to sort of let it sink down a little bit and then sort of work it through those weeds. But well, that, oh, I'm absolutely pumped that is an absolute trophy redfin. That is an awesome fish, mate. And I was, I was stoked to be here with you, you know, to catch it because, man, moments like that, you just relive that over and over again in your hair, eh? That's right. <laughs> there you go, folks. Thank you very much for joining us on this episode of Tackle Tactics TV. Angus, thanks for your time. Mate, you've, you've done us proud with that one. That's a beast of a fish. Get out there, give the readies a crack. You never know, you might end up with a giant like this one. Fish on. <laughs>